welcome to programming knowledge so in this video we are going to continue where we left in the previous video we were discussing about images and to be more specific asset images and the last thing that we saw was the frame builder okay so in this video we'll discuss a few more properties of this image asset okay so for now i'll uh, remove this height and the frame builder okay and i'll surround this image with a container now you might think that if i wanted a container then i could have simply sent it returned it in my frame builder but why am i surrounding this image asset with a container instead so the reason is when we return something from the frame builder then the entire frame acts as the image widget okay so if i apply any property to the image then that property will be applied to the entire frame which might be the container in our case so to avoid such type of situation we surround the image with a container okay so now for now i'll give the height and width to infinity okay height is double dot infinity and the width is also double dot infinity okay then i'll format it save it and you can see our image is in the center okay so now the property that we are going to discuss about is fit okay so fit decides uh, uh, how to inscribe the image into the space allocated during layout so this is the function of fit okay so there are a, there is a enum that has all the types of fit and the enum is as the name as you can see in the suggestion it is box fit okay so the default type is uh, contain okay that means the entire image will be in the container and no part will be clipped out okay so let's save this and see and you can see no significant change but you can also see that no part is clipped out we can see the entire circular thing in the screen okay so then the next type is cover okay so that means it will cover the entire uh, container okay so let's save this and see and you can see it has covered the entire container that means the entire height and the entire width okay and if some part is uh, clipped out then it will be clipped out only okay so it doesn't care if the image is being clipped out or not but the entire screen will be filled with the image okay then the next type is fill okay that means it will fill the container so let's see and you can see the image is neither clipped out and nor any space is left it took took the entire height it took the entire width but no part of the image was clipped out so what happened was it got uh, extended and it got stretched in some directions so as to fit the requirement okay now the next thing is fit height okay so as the name suggests it will fit the height and it will not care about its width so let's see and you can see the height has been all the height has been taken up and the width is also taken because the image is big but you can see some part of the image got clipped on both the horizontal sides and that is what the flut flutter will not care about because right now we are using fit height so all it cares about is the height okay and similarly we have fit width okay so now all it will care is about the width and whatever happens to height flutter will not care okay so let's see and you can see the entire width is taken by the image and there is no significant change in the height but if the image was a horizontally long image then you could see the significant change okay so this was fit width then the next one is none that means no change okay so it is equal to fit equal to null okay so the same image as it was before we had fit then the next part is scale down okay so what this basically does is it will shrink the image if required but it will never stretch the image okay so let's see and this also so shows no significant change but if we had some image that exceeded the length 
or the width then it would have automatically shrinked okay so to understand better we you can go to the official flutter box fit enum and over there you can see with very good examples how these all work okay so the contain it contains the box okay and it changes the it shrinks or increases the size of the child as as needed okay and in box fit it covers the entire space in fill it it stretches such that all the spaces are filled in fit height it only cares about the height in fit width it only cares about the width in none you can see no changes happening uh, irrespective of the shape and size of the container and then is scaled down and you can see as the size changes its height is shrinking okay so this was about uh, this fit thing okay so i'll remove it for now and save it so now we got the image back in the center now the next thing that we are going to discuss about is alignment okay so as we have seen in the text uh, in the text widget over there we had a text align but over here we have a alignment enum okay and over here these are the options that we have so let's try top center and then the image should be pushed to the top okay and you can see that similarly we have bottom center and the image is pushed at the bottom now if we had a image which had uh, the width less than the screen size then we could also try bottom left and bottom right and the image will accordingly be placed at those positions okay so then after alignment the last thing that i want to discuss is repeat okay so sometimes you could see that a single image is being repeated in all the places okay means like in the entire screen a single image is repeated uh, in column wise also and in rows wise also so that can be done using this repeat argument okay and it also has a image repeat enum okay and the first one let's say try repeat okay so that means that the image will be repeated in all the place available in the screen which is unused okay so let's see and you can see the image is repeated over here because this was the unused space and the same goes for this bottom part because this was the unused space okay so this is what we can do with repeat now the next type is repeat x and it is for the x axis that means the width so let's see and since we had no free space in the width so no repeat no repetition has taken place okay now let's try for repeat y okay that is for the y axis or the height so now you can see the same repetition took place as we saw in repeat okay so i hope you are able to relate all all these things together okay and then the last type is no repeat okay that means no repeat which is equal to null okay so you can see that okay so this was about image asset in the next video we will discuss about image network thank you